Hi Bruce from Safari and we're about to step aboard a Voyage 440 here which has had uh, had an, a major birthday here uh, adding power solar and adding a kilowasp DC to DC off the two alternators let's step inside and talk to the owner and we stepped inside now and meet Steve and Jill in here and uh, we're in the galley here of this Voyage 440 Steve tell me why did you do the all-electric upgrade here in the galley well, Everything for the kitchen is Jill, and the issue, the number one issue was to get rid of gas, off, take the gas off the boat. And when we were doing the solar upgrade, which, which actually, and the lithium batteries when we started the journey with Safri, this was a logical conclusion. We didn't start yet, but with the solar and lithium, we, we can have this and achieve the safety gain, that's why. And Jill, how have you found it so far? I love the induction cooktop. I'm still coming to terms with the deep fryer, but that's just air, air fryer. <laughs> Takes practice, but the induction is fantastic. It's quick, clean, no lights that go, or gas that goes off when you're not watching it. Beautiful. And let's do a shout out to Choice Stainless here. They did this stainless top and then oh, modified the the gas um, uh, keeper here that uh, sits on the top with the gimbal keeper I guess yes and it's just done so well and so that's the double induction and let's just have a look now and see what the solar is doing so uh, we're down to 429 we saw about 800 before we got 1200 on here now the battery's pretty high but we've also got on here a killer wasp and let's just have a look at it and what we're looking at in here is that's the killer wasp there and that's attached to both engines and it's 1000 watts but it's 96 percent efficient so you don't get the same amount of heat coming off it you can see it's just very simple it's like the scotty but i've got it all embedded in a single unidirectional board and we've got the two argo fets on either side here to make sure that the starter batteries are charged and there's no chance of us uh, pulling power out of the starter battery and flattening them and then we've got an inverter charger built in here as well and the solar controller at the back and we'll just close the video off. Here's the helm seat, and this is where uh, Steve's normally based. Uh, very nice cat here, laid out. Beautiful area inside here, and I've got to say, how good's that?